What's up guys, Johnny here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, a brand new solo strategy for COD Mobile Zombies to get your shards faster and stop wasting so much time just to get these purple shards. When it comes down to these blue shards, you'll quickly realize that you don't need that many of these. You'll be crafting all these weapons and stuff. And now what you'll be looking for is the purple stuff. I already crafted the backpack like three times. I crafted the blue weapons at least once. The emote I got twice at least. Now I just got the striker just before recording this video and I'm two shards away from the M4 LMG. So in about a day or two, all I'll be looking for is just the purple stuff. I don't care about all the blue stuff. So in my last strategy video, we found out that if you just get to round 15, complete it, and then quit at round 16, you get the maximum rewards, which is five gifts, usually one purple and four blues. But do you really need all of that? Now, what is the lowest round you can quit to have a guaranteed purple? Because it's really all you really want. Some of my viewers posted on my YouTube comments and they said you can quit at round 10. If you complete nine rounds, you get three guaranteed gifts and one will be a guaranteed purple. So I tested it and I wasted a few attempts because I tested it in raids. And guys, I'm telling you right now, the raids, it doesn't work. You have to finish the raids. But in survival, you can just finish nine rounds and quit at the start of round 10 and you'll have a purple every time. I did it six times in a row. Now about the quality of the gifts, yesterday on my last run, I got six shards for the pistol. Today on my second run, I got four Tank MC shards. And on my last run, again, six pistol shards. Guys, I mean, I did once a long run just to see the gifts. I did round 36 and I got one pistol shard, okay? So seriously, I mean, a purple is a purple. It can be just one, but it can be two, four, six. You can get lucky, you can get unlucky. Some of my viewers also said, if you get to round 20, you have a chance at the second purple. Dude, I don't know if it's true, but I mean, is it worth the time? 100% not. Seriously, are you gonna spend hours just for a chance at an extra purple? I don't think it's worth it, guys. So if you have a limited time to play and you just want to get maximum rewards, guys, the new strategy is round nine, finish, and at the start of round 10, you quit. Now let's go for some tips to make it faster. So here's the deal. Round one and two, I just kill zombies as fast as you can with the pistol. Don't buy anything on the wall. I don't even buy quick revive because you won't need it. You're only going to do nine rounds, remember, guys. So no quick revive needed. You're not going to die four times in nine rounds. Now, end of round two, I don't wait for round three. I don't let them spawn in the room. I don't waste my pistol ammo. I go straight downstairs, buy a weapon in the box, and then I go straight for the buffs, and I get, uh, same as usual, the damage buff, the HP buff, and the up and up. And then, if I can, I buff I or I upgrade my buffs for the damage. Try to get as much damage as possible at the start just to kill the zombies faster. Now about the weapon, seriously, on round three, you can use pretty much anything. For round three, round four, it could be a shotgun, could be the M4, the ASM-10, whatever you get. You don't need the ray gun, you don't need the wonder weapon. Just try to rack up some points and that's gonna be pretty much it. At the end of round three, end of round four, try to max out your buffs. I mean, you're not gonna max them out, but go for maximum damage and up and up. It's gonna help you because when you get a kill, you get extra damage for a few seconds. So I just max out as much as I can the damage and with the rest of my points, I'll go up and up. And if I still have some point, I'll go for HP. Now, this is pretty much the only door I will open for the whole game is the, the one there where there's the, the flogger trap. And so just to have extra space to run circles, run trains, whatever you like to, to call it, uh, this is the only door I need to open. But like if you guys want to go for the AK-47, if you guys want to go for the PDW, whatever weapon you want uh, or you feel comfortable with. Some guys really like the BK also. But then that's it. It's about clearing rounds fast. If you see a nuke in some other strategies, you want to try to avoid the nukes because you're going to waste a lot of points. But here you just want to go and clear the, the rounds fast. Now it's going to be the dogs. You need a bit of damage if you don't want to die. If you die, it's not a big deal. Round six is where you're gonna activate the trap for the first time. You're gonna activate the trap on round six and nine. If you go, I wanted to go five, seven, nine, but I realized 
uh, it's too fast. The rounds go too fast and the trap's not ready in time. So I think the best strat would be 6 and 9. And 7 and you're just going to shoot stuff. And once again, see a new, grab it. You see insta-kill, you grab it. And just go fast. It's going to take maximum 10 minutes, guys. And everything you do with the money or with your points between rounds is try to max out your buffs. And that's it, guys. So technically, your toughest round or your longest round you're going to have to deal with is round 8. Now, I got lucky in this game because I got the RPD on round 1. And I did the whole game with the RPD. I went to the box later just to try to get lucky, but I got a second RPD. So once again, uh, it's pretty quick, pretty easy. But you could have done that with the M4 pretty much. Round 8 would be maybe a bit long with the M4, but it's still manageable. Now you see here, end of round 8, all my buffs were maxed. Now that's enough to survive and kill stuff. You don't need Juggernaut, you don't need Double Tap, you don't need Quick Reload. Really guys, just max out your buffs and it's way more than you need to clear round 8. Because round 9, you're going to go for the trap again. And this is how I played round 9 all 3 times in a row. Is I let them spawn, make enough room to, to run around them. And when you have a full pack, we just go activate the trap. And it's going to clear pretty much everything. You have like 29 zombies to, to deal with. Uh, once they're dead, you go under the trap. And the trap will run long enough to finish round 9. And like I said, all three games in a row ended like that. Me under the trap, waiting for round 10 to start. And here we go. Wait for round 10 to start and just quit. I had a lot of questions in the past week. Do you still get the rewards if you quit? The answer is yes. You can quit anytime you want. You don't need to die. And you will get your rewards at the end. I guarantee you. And once again, uh, you're going to have a purple every time. I did it six times in a row. And guys, leave me a comment below. If you quit on round 10 and you didn't get a purple, please let me know. I think the chances must be very, very high. Uh, once again, I haven't heard from anybody yet. Didn't get a purple on round 10. So that's it for today, guys. That was a new strategy. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope it will save you guys a lot of time farming these shards. Because once again, you don't need the extra blues. The only reason I would go for extra blue is if you want or if you really need credits. Because when you craft an extra blue item, it's going to give you like 15 credits or something. I don't think it's worth the extra time unless you have a lot of free time. There's so much stuff to do in this game. I don't want to spend 3 or 4 hours a day farming zombie shards. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if it was helpful. And once again, subscribe to the channel, please. For more Call of Duty Mobile videos, I'll be back soon. Till then, watch my other stuff. Take care. This point.